Hi, my name is Eric Tolensmeyer, and in honor of International Permaculture Today, I wanted to talk about permaculture solutions to climate change. And permaculture looks at a wide range of strategies around energy, housing, transportation, and more. But today, I'm just going to focus on agricultural solutions to climate change. There's really two separate issues when it comes to looking at transforming our civilization to address climate change. The first one is we need to drastically reduce emissions, and the second is that we need to actively sequester carbon. Conventional agriculture is a big part of the problem. The global transport of food and other commodities, massive scale deforestation and degradation of farm and grazing land, use of fossil fuels in food production, Massive amounts of fossil fuels to, are used to produce nitrogen fertilizer, which then off-gasses as a uh, greenhouse compound itself. And uh, one of the worst culprits is tillage, which releases huge amounts of carbon from the soil. A massive shift to local sustainable agriculture is a critical component of reducing agricultural emissions. And you can have local tillage, organic food production, and be making a huge difference in climate change even though you're not sequestering carbon, you're reducing huge amounts of emissions. If we're looking at actively sequestering carbon, it's not enough to reduce emissions. We could reduce emissions all we want at this point, and it's still too late unless we draw down a bunch of that carbon back into the soil. So this is in line with the central message of permaculture, which is that we're not just about minimizing our negative impact, but actively having a positive impact on the planet through our food production this is the regenerative aspect of permaculture that makes it so inspiring and so interesting is, wow, we can build soil while producing our food. So in order to sequester carbon, we need to do a couple of things. One is we need to actively build soil. Organic matter in the soil is carbon, is mostly made of carbon, and the more organic matter we can build in the soil, the better. Perennial plants are mostly made from carbon. Woody plants are mostly made of carbon. Roots of plants are mostly made of carbon. So they're holding that carbon in themselves, and they're also helping to hold it in the soil. Multiple functions, which we love in permaculture, right? Um, strategies like tree crops, rotational grazing, agroforestry, perennial grains, and more all work together. And in an integrated permaculture sense, we're really looking at trying to build the, the, the food forest that makes not just fruits and vegetables, but also staple crops, livestock products, um, bio-based plastics, rubber, and all these other things that people need in order to have a civilization. Uh, and I am in favor of having a civilization. Um, it looks like we can produce an awful lot of these things in, in perennial no-till systems, and I think that's really very, very exciting. I am uh, doing a book uh, on this subject. It's, it's about carbon farming and these kinds of farming practices that actively sequester carbon as well as reducing emissions. Um, which have multiple benefits, social and ecological benefits, and to me are a beautiful expression of the principles of permaculture carried out at a large scale. Um, and I'm running a Kickstarter campaign through the end of April, through April 30th at midnight. So uh, if you'd like to pre-buy a copy, then you're supporting me to make this book possible and um, helping to make the world a better place. Uh, thanks very much for your time, and have an excellent International Permaculture Day to everybody.